In this video, I'm gonna walk you step by step through how to buy our pre-launch NFT. Because unfortunately, it's not quite as easy as buying something on Amazon, but it is way easier than any other way to buy NFTs right now. So even though it requires some extra clicks and steps, I know you can do it and it's worth it. So the first thing you're gonna do once our 10 day launch period starts on March 16th is to go to realprosperityinc.com slash crypto. And as soon as our NFTs go on sale, there will be a link on this page to buy them. Click that link and it'll take you to our rally page for the NFTs. Our page isn't set up yet, but it'll be similar to this one. So I'm gonna show you a demo with someone else's NFT. When I come to this page, I see that these NFTs are offered by someone named Natalie Nicole, and there's this collection of NFTs that she's selling. I'm gonna buy one of these to show you the process. Right now it says, buy now 111 items. That means there's 111 of these left. These are NFTs, and it shows you how much it costs to buy one in her community cryptocurrency, and how much that equals in US dollars. I'm in the United States, so it's doing that conversion for me, and I can see that it's the equivalent of 32 US dollars to buy one of these. Click view, and then it shows you the NFTs that are part of this collection. The ones that say not for sale were already bought by other people. So scroll down until you see one that says buy now, find one that's available to buy, and click buy now. That takes you to the page for that specific NFT, and you're gonna click buy now again. If you're not already logged in to Rally, or if you don't have an account with Rally yet, that'll take you to the login page for Rally. If you already have your Rally account set up, you can just log in right here. If you don't have a Rally account set up yet, I'll show you how to set that up now. So if you already have one, you can skip ahead to this timestamp. So let me show you how to set up an account. You're gonna pull up your web browser and go to rally.io. Then look for where it says sign up in the upper right of the screen and click sign up. That takes you to this page that says create an account. Put in your legal first and last name in the fields provided as well as your email address. And then when it comes to choosing your username, it's good to know that this is the name that people are gonna use to send you crypto. Just like once you know someone's PayPal address or Venmo account, you can send them money that way. This is like your rally address. So choose something that's easy to remember and share and that you don't mind sharing with other people. My rally name is Penelope Jane 360. Once you've found a username that works, choose a password. I recommend taking a moment now to save your login info, especially which email address you used, your username and password so you don't have to remember. Then check the little box to agree to their terms of use and privacy policy and click create account. Now, Rally is going to email you a link to confirm your account. So go log into your email, look for that email from Rally, open it, and click the link to confirm your account. That takes you to this page that says, account confirmed, log into Rally. And you're gonna make sure your email and password are in there and click log in. Next, you're gonna set up two-step verification to protect your account. This is a really good security practice for any account that you keep your money in. So if a hacker manages to get a hold of your password, they still can't access your account unless they have access to your second factor too. Click secure my account. I want to use text messages, so I'm gonna click text message, then select my country and region, put in my cell phone number and click next. Once you get the security code, input it into Rally and click next again. And then the last step is to verify your legal identity. To do that, you click verify, enter your legal name and date of birth, then click next. Enter your email address and your physical address, then click next again. Enter your taxpayer ID or social security number and click next again. And then you're gonna upload proof of ID. This can be a passport, government issued ID, driver's license or resident permit. Select which ID type you want and which country issued the ID and click choose file. Hopefully you already have your ID saved as a JPEG or PNG file on your computer, but if not, you'll have to take a picture of it or scan it first. Once it's on your computer and you've clicked choose file, find the document you wanna upload and click submit. And you should see this screen that your identity verification has been submitted and your account should be verified within a day or so. And now you're all set. Once you've logged into your Rally account, you can buy this NFT. You might first need to buy some crypto to pay for the NFT with, 
In this case, I can see that I need to buy some Dovecoin since that's the currency they accept for this NFT. I'm going to click here to buy her coin, then click buy Dove. I'm gonna use a credit or debit card and get $32 of Dove. Looks like there will be a 4.5% fee added on top of that to cover compliance and security costs. That's good to know. Then I'm gonna enter my debit card info and click pay $33.44. And then it says your order is on the way and it takes a few minutes to process. But once you have the crypto you need, go back to the NFT page and click confirm to buy this NFT. It should say your order is on the way. Click done and you are now the proud owner of one of our founding member NFTs. If you click here to view your wallet, you can see that the NFTs you own are right on here. Congratulations and thank you for supporting our mission of financial freedom for women entrepreneurs.